Hi there, Lorena Seidel here again, and welcome to day three of this mindful parenting live experience that I'm doing. And it's kind of late today, I just finally got some time to do this, and I have the kids in the house, so I have one sleeping and the other one playing, and one is at grandmom's for a sleepover. So I'm gonna do this really quickly, and today is about creating a mindful plan for next year. So a mindful parenting plan because we all want to be mindful, but really often we're just mind full, meaning our minds are just full of things to do, things that we should do or we want to do. We're multitasking, we're having a hard time staying present. We feel anxious and overwhelmed. We feel guilty. We feel like we're lacking energy and time for the things that really matter. And even me, sometimes, I, I'm spending my 24 hours with my children and even though I'm spending all that time with them, I still feel like some days I'm running around, going from one place to the next and just doing, doing, doing. And at the end of the day, I realize I haven't even had time to connect with them, to look at my children in the eye, to get down and play, to do something that was you know, quality together. And, and I'm with them 24 seven. I homeschool and we're together and that's just, you know, there's so much time together, but that doesn't mean that I'm present or that I am connecting with them all the time. So the first thing that I help moms when I'm coaching them, and it's the first exercise I want you to do today, and you're gonna have more details in the worksheet, is that do a brain dump. That's as easy. It's just get a piece of paper and a pen and set a, a timer for 15 minutes and write down everything that's in your mental to-do list. Everything that you need to do and you should do, you want to do in all different areas of your life, personal life, in your parenting, for work, everything. And then even when you think you don't have anything else to write, just keep going and ask yourself what else and what else and then just write for the solid 15 minutes and try to put everything that's in your head down into paper. And then after you do that, set that aside and then start to think about your perfect for you picture, your draw, like paint this perfect for you picture of what you would like your days to be like. What would you like your parenting to be like? So if you could have it within reason, um, you know, your way, everything that you want, what would you want um, your days to be like? And think of it like, what would you want your home environment to be like? The perfect for you home environment, the perfect for you self, the perfect for you relationships, the perfect for you home life. So for example, for me, my perfect for me home environment is this beautiful, warm, and natural environment, right? And then for my perfect for me self is this I want to be patient, I want to be authentic, I want to be kind, I want to be proactive as a parent, and patient and all that. And then my perfect for me relationships would be this deep connection with my children, and then this very authentic and quality relationship with them and with the people around me, my friends and everyone around. And my perfect for me home life is very slow and simple, we're you know, under scheduled and very substantial. So the things that we do that are quality things instead of just empty activities, but really thinking of the quality of the things that I'm doing and what I'm putting in my schedule, the you know, time that I'm spending with the girls and in my, for myself and f with friends and other people. So this would be mine, just as an example. But think about for you, what would this perfect picture look like? And then once you have that, think of what is your family all about? So what is it that defines your family? Some families are very sporty. They're very focused on sports. Some families are campers and travelers. Some families are artists. Some families are musicians. So what is it that defines your family? What are the values and the desires that you have for your family. What do you want your family to be about? And then, for example, for us, we are about environmentally friendly and green leaving. So we have compost in the garden, we're plastic free. Uh, we're about traveling, time in nature really defines us. 
we are about healthy, healthy everything. So healthy diet or exercising, healthy lifestyle, our home environment is healthy, the cleaning products we use and the body care, all everything, healthy. So this is something that defines us. Oh, and lunch is ready. And so think about that. What is it that's defining you and your family and what do you want your family to be about? And then when you have this, your values and desires for your family and your perfect for you picture, now take that, get that brain dump that you've done and start looking at the list of things you have to do and try to align the things that you do with your values and your desires for your family and for yourself. So start to prioritize the things that really matter, the things that sometimes we spend all day going around and doing and doing and doing and doing, but really we didn't take care of any of the important things. So if you think of you know, some of the big areas in our life, it's our family, our health, our work, our relationships, our friendships. So those are some big pieces that mo for most people, those are the biggest, most valuable things. So we want to make sure that we put those things in first. So for next year, start looking at your calendar and make time, schedule already that one-on-one special time with each one of your children. You schedule that date night with your spouse. You schedule time to see your friends, but put it in your calendar. Your time for self-care. Where, when are you going to take your yoga class or go for that run? And when are you going to, you know, just do something that would help you feel better about yourself and that is something that happens every week, every day, that becomes part of your routine. So schedule that in. Schedule the time that you're going to work on your personal growth, time for you to read something interesting, time to do something that you're passionate about. So if we don't make time, then we don't have time because there's never there's never going to be time there is always a sink full of dishes and there's another meal for us to prep and serve and clean and our children need to go from here to there so if we don't make the time we really don't have time for any of those things so what i usually tell moms to do is to put it in your calendar and also put it a time a one hour even in your week that it's a planning it's the one hour that you can maybe create your menu for the week. Maybe it's the hour that you're going to put on a schedule your one-on-one -on -one dates with each one of your children. And that's when you're going to schedule the yoga classes you're going to take or, you know, that coffee with a friend. So you have that one hour to plan because if you don't plan your week, then it just, it won't happen. So, and then once you have it in your calendar, honor it like it's a doctor's appointment. So have those things down and then honor it so brain dump and then create your perfect for you picture and then what your family is all about think about that and then start putting it in your calendar prioritizing the things that you really want and make room for that make head space for it and also make physical space you know make set the time for it and then we're gonna talk tomorrow more about like how you can transform your home and simplify your life and meals and everything so you can have this more peaceful, more mindful, more purposeful, just home life in general and parenting. So that's all that I have for today and grab the worksheet, post any questions and I'll come back uh, to answer questions. Alrighty, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye bye.